Hi everybody, Paul here again. In this video, I'm going to talk about the dangers of a bad water pump on your vehicle. So stay tuned. This is what a typical water pump looks like, which is a vital part of your vehicle's cooling system. Modern water pumps today are simple and very robust. However, like a lot of components, they eventually fail. I've seen a water pump last as long as 190,000 miles, but that's not normal. With proper maintenance, the normal lifespan of a water pump is usually 60 to 100,000 miles. The way a water pump works is a pulley wheel is bolted on here. A dry belt then turns the pulley wheel, which then turns an internal shaft, which then turns these paddles on the inside of the water pump. This continually circulates engine coolant from the radiator to the engine whenever the engine is running to keep the engine from overheating. The water pump will always be located on the front of the engine by the drive belt. The water pump on this 2017 Toyota Camry is located at this pulley wheel. The internal shaft also contains seals and gaskets. As these seals and gaskets age, they become worn, cracked, and dried out. Once this happens, the engine coolant will start to leak out of the shaft by the pulley wheel. The danger of a water pump that's leaking is the entire cooling system will continue to lose engine coolant. This can occur without the driver having any knowledge or advanced warning of what's happening. This will eventually cause the engine to overheat, which can cause serious damage to the engine. If you ever notice that you're having to regularly add engine coolant to the radiator or the overflow reservoir, then this is a sign that the engine coolant could be escaping from the water pump. It could also mean the engine coolant is escaping from a bad radiator, a bad radiator cap, a bad radiator hose, a bad radiator hose clamp, a bad overflow reservoir, a bad heater core, a cracked engine block, a cracked cylinder head, or even a bad head gasket. Just remember if the cooling system has any issue that prevents it from properly holding coolant or from properly pressurizing the system, then eventually the engine will overheat. This is why it's so important to regularly check the level of the engine coolant in your vehicle. Filling the cooling system with more engine coolant is a good place to start to check for leaks. If you do find that the water pump has a leak, be aware that there are no products out there that you can add to the engine coolant that will permanently fix the leak. You need to replace the water pump as soon as possible. A water pump shaft also contains internal bearings. When the bearings start to go bad, the water pump will usually start to make a squealing or grinding noise. The danger of a water pump with bad bearings is it can eventually seize, causing a broken drive belt and an overheated engine which can cause serious damage to the engine. One way to check for bad bearings is to grab it on the outside of the shaft and move it from side to side in any direction. There should be no movement. One way to make a water pump last as long as possible is to regularly change the engine coolant as recommended by the manufacturer of your specific engine coolant. Most engine coolant manufacturers will give the service life directly on the container of how many miles or how many years, whichever comes first. This AMSOIL engine coolant that I use says it gives protection up to 150,000 miles or five years, whichever comes first, in passenger cars and light trucks. Another way to make a water pump last as long as possible is to always flush the cooling system whenever you change the engine coolant. If you don't know how to do that, then click on the video in the top right hand corner at the end of this video. Be sure when mixing engine coolant to only use distilled water and never use more engine coolant than distilled water. Also be aware that using engine coolants containing silicates is very abrasive and can shorten the life of the water pump. Engine coolants containing silicates also have a shorter service life. Be sure the engine coolant used in your vehicle meets or exceeds the recommended specifications in the owner's manual. 
I hope you found this helpful. And if you like this video, please hit the like button below, share it with your friends, and please be sure to subscribe. God bless you and have a great day. Bye for now. And while you guys are working on your cars, I'll be trying to set a new world record standing on my head. <laughs>